the removal of the HCS plus is happening in Halo 5. Yes, even though everyone's freaking out right now about Halo Infinite right now, you probably want to know more about it, which I will certainly upload more videos about it. We currently have Halo 5 and things are still going on with that game and major playlist changes are happening on the week of June 25th. Major changes to the rank and how to get champ as well are happening with next season. So please stay tuned throughout the video to understand what is going on with Halo 5 and its new system. But how's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you another news update in Halo. Like I said, everyone's crazy about Halo Infinite right now, but Halo 5 is still our game and there's some major changes coming to the HCS and Team Arena playlists. So let's get right into the information here. If you want to know more like these kind of videos, please make sure to tap that like button. It greatly helps out the channel and this video gets some more notoriety. So then the community stays more up to date with what's going on in Halo 5. That you like that if you like the changes that are coming to this, these two playlists of Arena and HCS, uh, please make sure to tap that like button and also leave a comment down below. So you want to see more content like this. Subscribe for more awesome Halo news because we're always doing other stuff like that on this channel and Halo Infinite news as well. But let's get right into the video here. Josh Meg recently posted on Halo Waypoint saying how the team has wanted to have one co true core four v four experience for ranks and that time has finally come it's only taken about two and a half years but it's finally happening starting next season uh the team will be moving the hcs settings over to team arena and then moving current status of team arena over to the social place and calling that core play the hcs playlist is being removed the hcs settings are being put to team arena and the base level current status of Team Arena is being moved to Social Slayer called Core Play. Think of Core Play as a more expanded version of the Quick Play playlist. Uh, they are currently still finalizing the exact maps and modes that will be going into the uh, game mode and will be currently a rotational playlist, but they'll see how well the Core Play playlist does. And if it does really well, then it can be moved to a permanent social playlist. The reason why the team is doing this is because there's clearly a crossover between Team Arena players and HCS players where they are both very competitive arenas and that they want need to consolidate the play base. Well, just because, you know, it's a two and a half year old game, not as many people are playing it. They provide people with accurate matchmaking. They need to consolidate the playlist. I have been personally all for this for probably the last six months of saying that there is almost no reason why Team Arena and HCS need to be separate playlists. They need to consolidate that and continue forward. And I feel like a lot of players who like to play Team Arena will like to play the HCS settings. Yes, there are no autos and no sparring charge or ground pound, but boo hoo. This is the much more competitive HCS settings. So if you want to be truly competitive in Halo, you should play the HCS settings, not our Team Arena. Also, take note that the new ranked Team Arena playlist will not be using the MMRs, the matchmaking ranks, from the current HCS playlist. Uh, it will be using the MMRs from the original Team Arena playlist because Team Arena has been around for much longer than the HCS playlist and most players will find that they will have significantly higher ranks in the Team Arena playlist compared to the HCS one. And a very important thing to state about the ranks that will happen for next season, that all Onyx level players will be starting out at Diamond 3. Josh Menke states that with True Skill 2 being stricter and with the changing population dynamics of the ranked playlist, uh, we are going to shift where we let players start the next season. The highest ranked players can start out next season will be Diamond 3. Onyx and Champ players will then work their way up from there. In addition, the minimum rank for being Champ will be the minimum Onyx rank of 1500. Josh Menke states that this will allow us to align with our definition of Champ players being the top 200 Onyx players, while also requiring players to put in some games to prove they deserve the ranks that they expect to get. Now me, I'm not much of a uh, champion type player. I'm more of a diamond tier player. So um, this maybe gives me more of a chance to get Onyx. I don't know. But uh, this is basically if you're like the best of the best, your, your highest CSR you can start out with for the season is Diamond 3. You'll have to rank your way up 
from there. Fun note on the side here, Josh Menke also posts the top 10 players in the HTS playlist and who have played at least 50 matches. And you'll see some familiar names in here like Stellar, Trippy, Saiyan, McWen, uh, Penguins, like a, some very prominent Halo uh, pro players. And so it's actually kind of fun to see those guys still playing the game, still being active in the matchmaking. And, uh, you know, maybe you get a chance to match up against those guys. I've matched up against Mick Wen in free for all. He stomped me. And as always, Josh Menke does post the most popular playlists in Halo 5. We'll start from the bottom, work our way to the top. So surprisingly, the least popular playlist in Halo 5 is Halo 1 Anniversary. To me, not that surprising. Uh, putting again everyone the most overpowered you know, single hand cannon in the game, basically with the CE Magnum with Sprint and all the other Spartan abilities, but on CE maps, it just doesn't work. That's why people are not playing it. Then you have Elimination, Free For All, Warzone Assault, Mythic Warzone Assault, Firefight, Team Doubles. And then you have, this is probably, you get to see here, Team Arena and HCS. Now, uh, there's no stats behind this, but uh, you're essentially doubling the player base for both uh, types of players, really. Ma uh, if you judge it by this way, if each person, if each player has an even share, which uh, I'm assuming with HCS and Team Arena, you probably have a bit of an even divide right there. Uh, they've always been rather close in population. And then you have SWAT, Infection, Legendary Warzone Firefight, Big Team Battle, Shoddy Snipers coming back, man. People love their Shoddy Snipes. Quick Play, Action Sack, Heroic Warzone Firefight, and then the usual top three of Warzone, Slayer, Super Fiesta. So yeah, like I said, there's everyone's talking about Infinite, but Halo 5 still thinks some major champ changes happening there as well. Uh, I am actually personally really happy to see that the HCS and the Team Arena playlists are merging together. I think it's very important to keep the matchmaking uh, healthy as well for people to get fair matches. I think there's going to be a lot of crossover between Team Arena and HCS players. I'm sure a lot of Team Arena players will probably be upset because you know they're not getting your full autos and your Spartan Charge or your Ground Pound but you're getting a much more fair, competitive, balanced game, and I think that's much more important to play that and push that more forward for Halo 5 compared to uh, the default of Halo 5 because um, clearly they wasn't really working as a very competitive game. Uh, but with the HCS settings, I think are absolutely perfect for Halo 5's matchmaking. But let me know in the comment section down below, guys. I do read all the comments and try to reply to most of them as well. Uh, you know, let me know what you think about this consolidation of the player base for the HCS Team Arena playlist and also moving the uh, default uh, Team Arena playlist to core play social. Um, so maybe it has some kind of uh, cross play between quick play and core play players. We'll see what happens there. If you want to stay up to date with anything new Halo news related or Halo gameplay related, we're going to be doing a lot of Halo Infinite videos. I'm currently working on a Zeta Halo video, which will be a very prominent location in uh, Halo Infinite. So if you want to know more about that, Installation 07 Zeta Halo, make sure to tap subscribe so you don't miss that video. And I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Peace out.